Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Let's see, the temperature now is 38 degrees. Today I'm going to show you a video that was actually filmed about four weeks ago. Here in eastern Pennsylvania, we had extremely mild temperatures the whole month of October. And by the time that the second week of November came by, well, all of a sudden we got the frost and now it's really cold. But that means my videos you are seeing, there's a big difference between today and just a few weeks ago. I'm getting ready to decorate for Christmas. Zero cost decorating for Christmas. That's coming up here real soon. And through my videos, you're going to be seeing all about saving money and just living really abundantly, but not with monetary value. And so today is a cracked chicken. Now at the taping of that, food wasn't quite as expensive. <laughs> it's really expensive now. And you're gonna be seeing coming up all kinds of videos of me taking food out of my freezers. I'm gonna show you my freezers, show you really cheap meals. I'm also in this video gonna show you my sweet potato harvest. I don't know about you, but has time ever just slipped up on you? <laughs> That's how it has for me. And while I sit at the desk today editing this video, I'm realizing, wow, I gotta get these videos out to all of you. But I think if I sit down and explain it a little bit, these couple videos this week, once I get these videos out this week, then I'm more current again. I think if I sit down and explain to you first, okay, the video you're about to see is a brand new video. You've never seen it before, but it may be a couple weeks behind schedule. <laughs> And so then you'll understand it because so many times people will say, I don't understand this video. It looks like summertime and we have snow on the ground. Well, here in Eastern Pennsylvania, we still have green grass. I keep looking over here because we still have green grass. I still have herbs in my garden. Let me show you this really quick. If you guys don't mind, I mean, we will get to the video here in a minute, but let me show you. So this is current time that you're seeing this. And here is my garden. And look at my herbs, everyone. We've had temperatures in the 20s. And here are my herbs. Like they're not dead yet. It's unbelievable. And that's the grass. So while the video that you're going to see was a couple weeks ago, <laughs> stuff is still green around here and it's cold. You know, and that brings me to the thought of maybe this is the year of Jubilee. The year of Jubilee, that is an amazing, if you really need to look it up, if you don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna say this is the year of Jubilee for me and maybe my stuff will stay living all year round. I have everything in here and it's staying green, hanging the wash out on the line. It's been an amazing, amazing month of November. All right, everyone, let's get into the video and I hope that you learned something and I hope you try some of that cracked chicken. Oh, and by the way, if I don't say it in the video, it freezes amazing. The cracked chicken freezes absolutely amazing. Good morning, everyone. It's bright and early. Today I'm working on a crock pot meal and I thought I would share it with all of you. I'm making cracked chicken. I did this a couple years ago and wow, people loved the recipe. Now, cracked chicken is chicken breast, it is some ranch, it is cream cheese, and you put it in your crock pot, you let it simmer for five hours, and then it breaks up, and you can have it in sandwiches and all kinds of things. Well, I had all of these items, and I thought, well, I might as well make this with it. I'm gonna show you something before I tilt the camera down and show you what I'm, how we put it together. But here is, canned food that has a little rust on the lid. Now I show you these things so that way you can understand maybe you have something like this. All right, so this is sealed, but you can see that it's starting to gain a little bit of rust here. This jar lid is fine yet, as long as it pops. You wanna make sure you hear that pop, make sure that it was proper, that it was sealed, it stays sealed. But this is on the point, I mean, it's still good yet, but you wouldn't want it to ever get more rusted. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to open this jar up. I'm going to put all this together. All right, so first thing we want to do is we're going to try this jar and make sure it's all right. I always say when in doubt, please throw it out. I'm not in doubt, but I want to make sure I hear it pop. And 
and it is fine. All right, it is still good. So we are going to put this in the bottom of our crock pot and then we are going to layer it with chicken and with some of this. So put this in the bottom of the crock pot. Now we're going to go ahead and put our chicken in. Now this chicken was reduced. I buy all of my meats reduced and this chicken cost me $4. Some people rinse, some people don't rinse your chicken. That is your preference. Put the chicken breast on the bottom. We're going to give a layer of chicken breast on the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and put a layer of cream cheese. We'll sprinkle it with some of this. And this is Hidden Valley Ranch, the dry powder. And then we have little bits of cream cheese that I have that I'm going to use. Cream cheese is what makes it really good. This is a very rich kind of meal. So you can eat it over sandwiches. I think we're gonna have it in sandwiches for tomorrow with baked potatoes. All right. Now we'll do another layer of chicken breast. Then we are going to Fry up some bacon, that goes at the very end. So right now, all we have to do is work on this. And now we have another cream cheese, and we're going to sprinkle it with more of this. Now, depends on where you shop, cream cheese is expensive, but at Wise Markets, or Weiss Markets, however you pronounce it, it is only a dollar. Aldi also has it for usually around 89 cents. So I'm trying to get this off of here without making a mess, and it's stuck to the paper. Horrible stuck. All right, go wash my hands, put the lid on that, and then we are done. All right, so what I did was I turned this into a casserole. I put some broccoli in it and the bacon, and now this is a casserole that I'm gonna have for my family tomorrow, and then I'll have some baked potatoes to go with it. So we turned the cracked chicken crock pot meal into a casserole. Well, frost is almost here. And that means it's the great reveal to see if these grow bags did anything. Do you think there's any sweet potatoes in here? Now I have some out in the garden and they seem to be doing a lot better, but we're gonna find out here in just a little bit.
Well, I got some sweet potatoes, not very many. I don't think I'll be using the grow bag to grow potatoes or sweet potatoes anymore, but it was a fun project and at least I got something out of it.